What's up, everybody? My name is Killjoy, and I'm showing you a uh, cool little way to find your iPod Touch or iPhone. Uh, it works really so much better on the iPhone because uh, you, even when it's locked and you're in the middle of the desert, you probably still have at least one bar, maybe. So it, you'll be able to locate it. First thing I do is, or you know what? I'll just do that first. Uh, sorry for the slow, I'm using a really slow connection. Uh, yeah. Is that locked or unlocked? I don't know, I can't tell. Really slow connection. So I'm going to instead of using this, I'm just use my iPod to look around. Alright. This is Joe Broken telling you guys now, but I'm just going to show you what to do. First, go to the App Store, and uh, I'm, this is free, so there's no reason. Alright, and then type in Find My iPhone. It should be from Apple. Don't do this one right here. Uh, you want to find my iPhone. And install it. And what it does is it literally tracks your iPhone. But one bad thing about it and the bad thing about it is it tracks the closest position to it uh, uh, like you're gonna enter your Apple ID oh wow that is so much better you're gonna enter your Apple ID and password and what it does is it gives you a little circle and I'm not gonna do it to myself because uh, don't want you guys knowing where I live it gives you a circle, like a dot, like if you're on the map, maybe. Uh, it gives you a circle, a little tiny circle, and then a blue, like, hollow circle around it, a transparent circle around it. And what it's telling you is that it can't find exactly where it is, and it does this every time, 100% of the time. It will never just tell you the exact, exact position. And so, I mean, if you, if you lose it, what is, I mean, it's going to be a little bit hard if someone took it and you and you're in an apartment house uh... that's gonna suck for you, you have to open the door and oh my god and if you use it maybe in a work office or at school or college or anything like that um... And then what it does it tells you like it just highlights a big circle area I mean, it's gonna be pretty hard for you to find it but I mean, it's better than anything i mean if someone takes your phone when you're going shopping or something like that at the airport or I don't know I, mean, I don't know why someone loses it at the airport I mean taking the flight to a person but I mean if someone if someone you know takes it like you can just look at like sometimes if it's a single family house or something like that it, just put a circle around the house maybe and you can easily just find it there I'm not gonna oh god so what it is free, all you need is an Apple ID and a password. You'll be able to find it. And okay, you might be asking, alright, well I lost my iPod or iPhone, and how am I supposed to find it if the app's on it? Well, all you gotta do is go to me.com. It's gonna be in the description, and you have to make sure your app, the app, is installed to your iPod or iPhone. Has to, be, I think it has to be an iOS 4. And if it's not installed, then you're not gonna be able to find it. So it has to be installed on my iPhone. Um, and you go to me.com it's going to look exactly like this except for this is going to be like a big cloud it's just being me and stuff and then you find it on the internet it, it is a pretty cool app uh, I keep it in case I ever do lose my iPod um, but one bad thing about the iPod touch is that you need a wireless connection Not you don't like a uh, person might not have might have a secure wireless connection so you can't automatically connect to it or a hidden wireless connection, but if the person who takes it does have a unsecure wireless detection, it does automatically detect and join, detect and join that network. You'll be able to easily uh, join. You'll be easily find it. So that's the video about. It. And uh, thank you guys for subscribe. Huh? It's always the problem. Here we go. Uh, now. Oh, and by the way, before I leave, we are working on our new website. Uh, it'll be posted right when it's open. We're still working on it, and I'm helping working on it. It's pretty damn hard. We're trying to make it 
as best as possible. So thank you guys and subscribe.